What's up guys? Welcome to a new LumaFusion tutorial. Today's topic is again a LumaFusion basic and it's about the frame and fit tab in the editing mode in LumaFusion. But before we are starting with the tutorial, there are awesome announcements I have to make. LumaTouch will update LumaFusion and will add three more video layers and 12 audio layers in total. This is just amazing. It gives so much more opportunities to edit the videos, make nice transitions. So you don't have to render out your transitions in between to make a complex one. Um, just amazing. And of course, I will make tutorials about the new surface and how all the stuff works and tutorials with nice transitions. So don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any video in future. But now let's jump into LumaFusion. So guys, we are in LumaFusion on the main surface of our open project now. To enter the frame and fit surface, we have to enter the editing surface by double tapping the clip we want to edit or just by using the tool menu and clicking on edit. The left tab on the button is frame and fit and it is normally the tab which opens by default. Above the editing tab are the timeline and the timeline controls of this specific clip. In the top left corner are the view controls, which are pretty useful for complex editing to see what you are doing without the other layers or to see what the other layers are doing without the current layer. On the right side next to the view controls are the undo and redo buttons. I personally use them pretty often to see what my settings are doing to the clip so I just undo it and redo it to see what happened. In the top right corner are the options for the editing tab. For frame and fit, these are just the control panel and the preset tab, where you can access your saved motion presets like the ones you will find in my LumaFusion transition bundle. Link is in the info box in the top right corner. Below that are some presets created by LumaFusion which are useful as well if you want to do some basic movements and frame settings like standard zoom out, a pen or just want to move this clip to a specific place in the frame like the top left corner. With reset all, all settings and keyframes in the size and position drop down menu down below will be deleted and set to default. Below the preset window there are four buttons. Mirror on the y-axis, rotation by 90 degrees with fitting, that's very important because it stretches your clip until it fits in the frame. Frame filling and save as a preset. Below that are the four drop-down menus I mentioned before. These are the main editing menus you will use while editing in frame and fit. The first one is the fit mode, which is fitting the clip to the frame in four modes. You will need this only if you have a clip with a different aspect ratio than the project, like this upright selfie. The buttons do exactly what they show. They fit, fill, focus and stretch. I normally don't use them because if I have to stretch uh, or focus a clip, I will use the settings in the drop down menus. Back to the first clip. The second drop down menu is cropping. In this menu you can do three types of actions. The first four controls will crop the clips on the side they say so left, top, right and bottom. Edge softness will smoothen the edges of the clip also following your previous cropping settings. So if you crop the clip on the left side it will also smoothen the remaining part of the left side. And corner radius will make your corners round, which, which gives together with edge softness a pretty nice vignette. The third drop down menu is size and position. With the controls position X and position Y, you can move the clip in the frame left, right, up and down. So move it in the direction you want it to have. Rotation does the same like the rotation button below the preset window, but with the main differences that you can choose the rotation more precise, so the specific degree you want the clip be rotated, 
and it doesn't fit the clip in the frame so it doesn't stretch it until it fits perfectly the frame which normally I won't use so this is why I use the specific rotation to rotate a clip. Below that are the three size controls. The first changes the size in total means it changes the size x and y and the other two are changing just the size dimension so they are stretching the clip in the direction the size says. The last drop down menu is the blending menu. The only setting you have is the opacity which you can set from 100 to 0. It's normally just useful for a transition. All the settings you can choose in the three menus cropping, size and position and blending can be keyframed with the keyframe button below the timeline. The button appears once you enter one of the three menus. If you need more details about keyframes, I already made a video about it. You can find in the info box in the top right corner or in the description box down below. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and give thumbs up and we'll see each other next time guys. Bye.